Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, it's time to get back to those comic books and we're going to go to Dark Times, written by Mick Harrison, issues 6 through 10. Now, in this five issue series, it focuses on two things. First off, the introduction of Jedi Master Krakruk. And then the other storyline focuses on Bomo Greenbark as he is on the run from the Empire. So what did I think about this series? Well, uh, of course I've already told you what I think about Dark Times. I love it. Uh, right now, D Das Janir is out of the storyline. But what Mick Harrison does that's so good here is that he introduces this new Jedi Master, Kirkuk, and he is just as interesting as Janir was. Now that's not to say I you know, would do fine if they didn't bring Janir back. Um, but I did enjoy him. I don't know, there's something about him uh, in, in a five-issue series to bring out one already established popular Jedi and bring another one in and have us like him just as much. That's just good writing. Now, from there, you're going to continue on to Dark Times. It's going to be issues 11 and 12. And this is the Vector storyline, uh, basically focusing on the story of Celeste Morn. Now, it's been a while since we've talked about Vector, so just to remind you, uh, back uh, a long time ago, Dark Horse wanted to do a crossover. And John Jackson Miller said it's basically a cross-through. Basically, to try to do one storyline that, that goes through all four Star Wars titles at the time. Knights of the Old Republic, Dark Times, Rebellion, and then Legacy. Some people hated this, some people loved this storyline. I actually liked it. I actually thought it was a really good idea. So Celeste Morn is, you know, her adventure continues in the dark times. Now to be honest, I collected all the Vector at once and I read all the way through them and that's probably what you should do and I think that's what I said the last time we came across Vector. But how cool would it be to uh, read it in chronological order, read the Old Republic first and then come back years later because it's got to at least take you a year at least to read all the books and, you know, uh, EU material between that time and then read Dark Times. Would you remember the storyline? Probably not as well. Maybe. Uh, so you may want to read these all together, maybe not chronologically to understand them, but uh, it's another great series. Like I said, overall I thought Vector Prime was nice. They didn't try to do it more than once, which I'm happier it would have gotten old. So once was good enough for me and this was good. One thing I liked about this crossover, it, it was different than other comic book crossovers. Folks, you know how crossovers can get. Uh, we can have, uh, you know, Spider-Man on his adventure. Then all of a sudden they have to do the crossover adventure, which has nothing to do with his regular adventure. So it's like he breaks character or takes a time out of his other dilemma going on to do this one thing. And that's one thing that kind of bothered me about comic books. Whenever there's a big crossover, it's like all the characters just shifted their focus from the main storyline to, you know, the shared storyline and then went back to the big thing. Like, Batman needs to get Joker. He needs to find Joker. Ah, but the world's coming apart over here, so Batman takes a break and does this. Doesn't even worry about the Joker. In fact, makes that look very insignificant to the worldwide devastation that's going to happen in the universe. Um, I, I never really liked that. That kind of bothered me at times. And this Star Wars crossover, you don't see that. Basically, they are continuing on their storylines, just adding that into it. And it doesn't feel like it's out of whack. So, for instance, if you were to read these in order, all the dark times, you really wouldn't be lost when uh, Vector, the Vector series came through. I mean, yeah, you may not know who Celeste Morn was. They kind of give you a little catch-up just in case you don't get that comic book. You can still enjoy it. And that it doesn't end may bother you. But, uh, they, they keep like Celeste Morn is like looking in on that storyline. She's guest starring. It's not the other way around where, okay, we have to stop what we're doing and acknowledge this big overall storyline. I really like that as Dark Times did it. So Mick Harrison, again, another great job. All right, folks, that's all the time I have Here. for today. You deal with them. What? We'll see you next time with another video.